What's going on ladies and gents, this is Bento, and I'm here to talk about the new style of input that was recently implemented by Valve for the Steam Controller. So what exactly is a style of input? So normally on the Steam Controller you have different functionalities for the trackpad. You can have it set to, you can have the style of input to be set to like a joystick or a mouse. Or if any of you have seen my other videos, I actually did a touch menu and a mouse wheel. So the newest one that was been implemented was is what's called a mouse region. And a mouse region is really cool because it allows your cursor to move a lot faster in this case. So it's actually really good for top-down style games like Dota 2, StarCraft, and obviously Civ. Um, so you, it, it's kind of nice because you get to remove some of the like hindered movement that you'd have to usually do with a normal mouse style of input. So in this case, if just as just to show you guys, um, if I were to if you look at how the trackpad is right now. If I were to touch the left side of this, the trackpad, it actually goes straight to the left portion of the screen. And if I were to touch the right, it'll just go straight to the right. So essentially your entire trackpad is the uh, screen itself. And so that's really nice because you move your cursor a lot faster. Um, it's good for games that really need you to move um, your mouse movement as fast as possible. Um, I did run into some issues with the mouse region though, and that is initially it actually has a pretty small region size, and as you can see by the default here over here. Um, so you actually can't really hit a lot of the um, options on the corners of the screen. So like here I can't even hit the menu option even though, well actually I could, but it kind of requires you to be like at the outer edge. And similarly like here, it just really requires you to move your cursor as far from the screen as possible. But just to rectify this, all you really need to do is increase the region size. Um, it does sort of like increase the sensitivity as well, but if you can work with it, you can hit any portion of the screen you want. You can even set it to where you still are able to pan normally. So it almost functions as your mouse. Um, but it's really nice and I think it helps a lot for top-down style games and I think it's really cool. The nice thing about it too is that you can also select um, the position of the screen as well. Um, normally it's like right dead center, but you can um, move it to wherever you want. You can even increase the scale and there's some settings where you can actually put a um, outer ring binding option. So it may like hit a key or something. Although with Civ, I just couldn't think of anything right now, but just to let you guys know there is that option. Um, so another, I mean, if you do want to change the screen size or I mean the region size, um, something I thought might have been cool was to shift mode two different style of mouse regions. So maybe you can have one mouse region that's just set to the default screen where you can um, like just move your units, do whatever you need to do. And then maybe you can have a mouse region set to the map as well. That way you can transition between the two so you don't have to like keep constantly going screen here, screen here. That way you just hold, maybe you mode shift it, you just hold the trigger or um, bumper or something. And you can easily just go from here and then straight to here already. That's just one example I think that could have been used like if you want to do that sort of thing. Um, but again, the options are for you guys because the Steam Controller is awesome and that you can really customize it however you want. But that's pretty much it for me guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.